Hey, it's Matt Fulton here from mygeekculture.com.au and we're at Supernova Sydney 2023 and the crowd is there. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go inside here. Let's all check it out. Alright, I'm here with the creator of The Talking Bread, Kieran Jack. G'day Kieran. G'day guys, how are we going? Now, can you tell me about your comic, The Talking Bread? Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a inspired series from my previous career as a baker. Uh, I was kind of inspired to do it with the 90s cartoons. So The Talking Bread is about 18 slices of sentient bread, running amok in a city with their creator, the master baker, chasing after them. And what are your major inspirations for your art? Um, I've got a lot really. It is 90s cartoons, they're definitely an inspiration. Um, a lot of comics I was reading when I was a teenager, Jonah Varsas, um, you know, there's Scotty Young as well, more recently, but yeah, a lot of 90s style cartoons definitely inspired my artwork, yeah. And when can we actually get your merchandise? Um, so you can get it here today, we're at Supernova, and then if you can't get it today, you can go to D's Comics, where we're stocked there, All Star Comics in Melbourne, uh, Impact Comics in Canberra as well. Um, we do have a web store, unfortunately it's closed for the moment, but we are looking at getting back up and running. And where can they follow you on any social media? Uh, yeah, so you can follow us on Halftone Productions on Facebook, and then on Instagram you can follow me personally with all my artwork uh, on Created by Kieran. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Well, I'm cosplaying Batman today. And, um, Are you sure about that? Oh, maybe. <laughs> but it took uh, four or five months to really get it done or, or uh, collected time. Um, a lot of it's 3D printed. And what about you? Yeah, so it's also 3D printed with the shoulder plates and the mask as well. And then you've got big boots to go with it. Um, we've got the same belts and I just don't have the pouches, but... Okay, what? Well, hold on my hat. Oh, of course it's got press on it. Ah, yeah. oh, you're hilarious. Can I give you one little thing? Hold on. There we go. There's a good thing. <laughs> Are you an asshole? I am an asshole, sir. Major, <laughs> major asshole. <laughs> you lost the bleeps, lost the sweeps, or you lost the creeps? The what? The what and the what? You know, the sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do anything, actually? No. 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 Ah, I'll put him on the spot. Sorry. Alright, here we go. We've got to talk to this guy here. Mate, I think you're a little bit robotic. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, he's a man of many words. Ah, oh, welcome to my world. A bit of a dead man walking there. I decided to go under the sea and I bumped into Ursula here. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and Ursula, please tell me about your design and how long it took for you to put it all together. Um, practically planning about a month and sewing back up a little bit. So it's kind of like a, a rush job, but it turned out really well. <laughs> <laughs> Is that solid gold? I think so. <laughs> it's quite powerful weapon. <laughs> and have you seen Ariel floating around at all? Not yet, but I saw my other Ursula sister floating around somewhere, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might be a lot of Doctor Who merchandise. Alright, I think I've got some crazy person who wears a hat. Who are you? <laughs> I am Tarrant Hightop, the Mad Hatter. <laughs> How long did it take for you to do your costume up? Oh, I've had it for a couple of years. You know what? I think you'll give Johnny Depp a run for his money. 
I don't know about that, but I, I love the guy. <laughs> Highly respect him. All right, I found this quad. Oh, I don't know what to call you. A group of... Um, bells, bells. Bells, hells. Bells, bells, hells. bells, bells. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell me about the costumes. I'll start with you. Uh, critical Role, FCG. I'm a robot. <laughs> um, robot cleric. So there you go. Yeah, um, Imogen from Critical Role. Um, and I am a human sorcerer. I am also Imogen from Critical Role. <laughs> Well, I'm seeing four yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Lordner from Critical Role. I'm a sorcerer warlock. Excellent. And how have you been enjoying your, your time today? Oh, it's fantastic. There's so many people that we've met before and everybody's having a great time. Yeah. Everyone's really passionate about their outfits. Yeah. And how long did it take for you to uh, each set up your costumes? Can you have uh, a rough idea? So I didn't make mine. I just sort of assembled it from different pieces and put it all together but it doesn't take that long uh, once you've got it all together. Well, I was going to say if you suddenly miss a spot you can you know take yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's great. Um, I sewed most of mine. I was two weeks of sewing and building boots and belts and bags and things. And um, mine's a, an amalgamation of making it myself and uh, salvaging and upcycling other pieces to make it work. Upcycling is the best. <laughs> Yeah, about two or three weeks, I think, for mine, um, with the foam and spray painting and everything. So, yeah, I sewed most of mine as well. So. All right, I'm here with Doc Brown. Where's Marty? Um, he took the DeLorean. I need it back, actually. <laughs> really? I think you might have to take away his keys. Yeah, you got that one right, mate. How long did it take for you to set up your costume? Um, took me a little bit longer than I thought. Um, getting the handset, or the device, was more difficult than I thought as well. Um, and the shoes, which are... Uh, yeah, well, I'm yeah, sure that he was not. And uh, I see you got highly reactive plutonium. Yep. You always carry plutonium with your people. It, you never know when you need it. Now I'm here with the creators of Dark Nebula. You got Tad Pietrzykowski. <laughs> yeah, good day. And Gary Dillon. Now tell me about uh, your, I guess, comic really of Dark Nebula. Well, the Dark Nebula is something I came up with. Let's just say that uh, creators, I believe have their own imaginary friends they bring to life and the Dark Nebula was something that I um, nurtured through my childhood, through my uh, college years and then uh, 41 years ago I released my first graphic novel because I had a story I wanted to tell and you know, I just wanted to get it out there. And what do you think about the, uh, the, the state or the slate of the Australian comic industry today? Well I think it shows a lot of promise. I mean. Um, some years ago, like 2007, when I relaunched Dark Nebula and I was using print-on-demand from Florida, now I'm getting my, my books printed through Jeffrey's Printings at Milpera, um, and they do a bang-up job. I mean, this is Dark Nebula 9, Gary Challoner cover, and it's um, a homage to the good old days of Marvel's Captain Marvel. It's in black and white. And I'm just, I'm just really happy with the job they do because the one thing I don't want to do is compromise quality. Um, the team as it is right now is myself as a creator. Shane Foley is the artist. By the way, Shane Foley does a lot of work for Phantom. And also Dave DeVries, who was the creator of the Southern Squadron, he does the production design for the um, for the ongoing Dark Nebula title, and his place in all of it is not lost on me because um, while I've got reasonable skills on Photoshop, Dave just aces it, and 
I always say to people that Dave keeps the book at its apex. This one here is Dark Nebula Southern Squadron number one. And uh, it's designed as a reintroduction of both the Dark Nebula and the Southern Squadron for new readers. It's part one of three. Um, and most importantly, I would like to think that at some point, some filmmaker will come along and go, I could put that on film. We, we see a lot of projects that are out there and people have their eye on the TV or movie deal. They can't, they, 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 they focus too much on that. And the one thing they fail to do is the most important thing you need to do, and that's have fun doing it. I can't stress that enough. How can I buy Dark Nebula? Well, that's easy. Um, I have a um, uh, I have a profile on Owner Indie. Um, Owner Indie. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Owner Indie. Uh, so I've got my little store there. I've actually got to put a couple more books up on there. Well, that wraps up my time at Supernova, and there's a whole. That's still going on, really. So if you ever go to any of these things, I recommend just enjoy yourself and bringing out the geek in you. See ya.